is Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com. You're with trainer Eric Brown. Eric, I haven't talked to you in a while, so the first thing I'm going to ask you is about Kid Chocolate. I know you guys didn't have a, a, the results you expected, but it's been a little while now. What, what are your initial thoughts on everything that went down? Uh, well, you know, it was a fight. And, you know, uh, it, of course, we wanted a different outcome, but, you know, uh, I think the referee overreacted and, and uh, stopped the fight prematurely. Um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. There's no sense crying over spilled milk, but, the, you know, I still think that uh, uh, he kind of kind of uh, got a little excited and just made, the, made a bad move at the wrong time and cost us a fight. But I think, you know, we'll have a rematch and we'll see how things go. How's Kid Chocolate doing? He looked in high spirits even after the fight. But, you know, first defeat, how, how's he taking stuff? Well, you know, Kid's, Kid's a very mature athlete, very mature young man. And, uh, you know, he's a very spiritual young man. So, you know, he, uh, of course, he, he, he wanted a different outcome. But, you know, at the same time, you know, he, he, lets, he lets God's will be done. So, uh, you know, if, if that was the way it was destined to be, that's the way it was destined to be. Um, you know, and he relies on his spiritual, spirituality to, to, to give him strength in, in the most difficult times. So, you know, the, the, uh, it's never a good thing to have to deal with that, that kind of a loss. But, you know, he didn't get hurt. He didn't get beat up or nothing like that. And, and I honestly feel that, you know, had the referee let the fight go on, we'd have won the fight. But, hey, how you doing? And, but, uh, you know, um, there's a, there'll be another one. How anxious are you guys to get that rematch, Coach? Or are you, are you willing to go another ride if it has to go that way? We'll, we'll go whatever Al wants us to do and however God wants us to do. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, our manager's uh, t calling the shots. And, and if he says he wants us to do something before we do a rematch, then so be it. But uh, whatever it'll be, it'll be in Pete's best interest. So that's what's important. Always great insight. And last thing, just what do you want to tell the fans? Who else are you working with? What you got coming up? I know you told me you got some fights coming up, Eric. Just yeah. give the fans an update. Well, you know, I got a couple of young guys that just had a young man named Igor fought tonight, and uh, he had an eight-round uh, unanimous decision. Uh, from He's a 2012 Olympian from uh, Russia. Uh, good young fighter. He's coming up, learning a lot. <coughs> um, I'm getting ready to have Hugo Centeno step back out there uh, pretty soon. Uh, people have been waiting to see him fight again. Uh, lucky boy Omotoso, uh, you know, he's another one that people are looking to see get back out there. So, and then everybody's wanting to see what's going to happen with Kid, especially. Uh, Paulie's gone and won another European title. So I'm very proud of him and very happy to see him, you know, finding the fights, you know, fights finding him that suit him and him being able to go out there and prove all the, all the experts wrong again. You know what I mean? I, I love that. You know what I mean? And Paulie's such a great guy. I love him to death. So, you know, I, I love seeing him and, and Pete and those guys just go out there and excel. And Pete's, Pete's fine. The people should not worry about Kid Chocolate. He's fine. He's going to come back and he's going to show everybody just what time it is. Can he still stay at 160, Eric, or do you think a move? I think it's, I think it's, it's doable. I know naturally his body wants to go up to the next weight division. He's been at, he's been at that weight for so many years. And, uh, but, I mean, it's doable. We proved that we can make 160. But I think at some point we are going to move up to 168. I always appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Eric, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night.